brilliant play there. It's a ridiculous back. Yeah, that's a great comeback for Killer Chris. Oh, no. Killer Chris, I'm going to LA. Yeah. Killer Chris, I'm going to for game four in search and destroy aftermath if it goes to a game five again yesterday was best of three in the pool play today we're playing best of five it is a bracket now no longer pool play and it is double elimination so a team here if they lose will not be sent home but they will find themselves in the losers bracket as we are about to kick things off here and it's going to be again hard point on hijack this map very small and things happen very quickly as we jump in here on board with Aches of the Complexity Squad. King, team captain here, he gets taken out very quickly. Yeah, but you know, Hijack's uh, hard point is just a very, very fast paced game. And you know, it's, it, it's just gonna be really, really interesting to see how these teams adapt to this map. And let's put up the kill feed here as we can see what's going on. And we're gonna throw that up, get the Codcaster features all sorted out. A wonderful thing implemented by Treyarch, the Codcaster features, we certainly appreciate it. Yep, we're still on board with Aix now. Aix making moves here, and they are controlling the spawn here, Fwiz, for this next hard point, the second hard point. And you see that they're just trying to maintain that. Complexity doing a good job of making sure they don't flip the spawn, they don't push too far. Aix, you see here, backing off a little bit. They're willing to give up these points here to the killer fish just to make sure that they hold this next hard point, which is going to be inside this next hill that they're, or inside this next building that they were just at. Aix picking up a big two piece right there to kick things off for Complexity and give them a little bit of fire. Yeah, as we stay on board with Aix, he's trying to get in that hard point. 19-19, it is tied. Complexity is gonna take the next hard point as it quickly is contested. And now they're gonna circle back here as Aix gets taken out. We switch over to Crim6 here. He's gonna get some shots in, picks up a two-piece there as he takes out rocks as well for Killerfish. And now gonna try to swoop in the back, is gonna get a nice assist there. And it is Killerfish that's set up on here. However, Crim6 and the Complexity squad starting to move in here in advance. Yeah, now Crim6, it's really important that he tries to lock down the spawn, actually, and no, he cannot do it. I don't like that challenge by Crim6, and now you see that Complexity is spawning across the map, so Killerfish are certainly going to get some time here on this hard point, and you see Rocks here locking it down for Killerfish, but Complexity all ro already rotating for the next hard point, which is in the, in the engine room. That's the one you want to lock down on Hijack Quiz. That's the one you can rack up the most time on, as there are only two choke points entering into that engine room. So I think complexity is already setting up for that right now as we speak. Rocks picking up this last few seconds. We're going to go ahead and jump back on board with complexity. This is going to be too quick. You're going to see him trying to jump down and help his teammates out in the engine room. Now this hard point has activated. It is contested. Now complexity taking this hard point. And this is what I'm saying, Quiz. You have to get this thing locked down. If you do, you're going to rack up a lot of time. Yeah, clearly Complexity sacrificed about 20 seconds in the previous hard point just so they can take down the engine room. As Hasbro mentioned, there is only two choke points getting in here, so it can be a brutal battle. However, Complexity loses that pretty quickly as Killerfish is able to come in there, knock Complexity off, and take the engine room. This is going to be a costly mistake here for Complexity as now they're going to be able to hold it down. And Rocks for Killerfish has a shotgun. And when you have a shotgun down here in the engine room, it can be brutal, as you can see, he racks up every single score streak, including his sentry gun. So this is even going to make the complexity squad harder for the next uh, hard point that they move to. And Killerfish, you know, they showed up very strong yesterday against Envy, losing two to one. They took the search and destroy from Envy. It was a very close round. Uh, they they got kind of whooped up on in the CTF. The hard point was um, pretty convincing in Envy's favor too. But Killerfish can play, so they're here right now with a 45 point lead over complexity. And you see Rocks trying to lock down the spawn on this next hard point. Puts down a sentry gun. This is a very favorable, advantageous position right here for Killerfish. And look, they have control again. Killerfish looking very strong against Complexity early on here, Fwiz. Yeah, it will be nice to note here that Crim6 picked up an amazing three-piece. However, it wasn't enough as it is 54-point lead in favor of Killerfish. As we're going to stay on board with Rox. He did lay his sentry gun out here outside. And now, as you can see, he just saw it there. So he's going to move in here. Gets taken out by two quick Complexity, trying to set up and get some points. But Killerfish are holding it down. You've got... Quickie and Gun Elite that are just able to take this hard point down and Complexity struggling to get in. Yeah, I'm going to turn the, the map here so we can see a little bit of picture in picture. You can see what's going on on your mini map in the player column. And yeah, Killerfish doing a great job right now. Gun Elite, huge, big, it's a huge shot right there. Can you pick up the two piece? Ran out of ammo. And there you go. He goes down. 
So as we go into the full screen here, you see Gun Elite spawning here. He's going to be making moves towards the top middle of the map. And look at this Killerfish even going right for the objective here. I like what they're doing. They're trying to bleed complexity out and to score as many points as they can early in this game and allow themselves to rotate earlier than complexity can because they're going to be forced to pick up as many points as they can in that hard point. Huge play by Gun Elite right there. Big two-piece with the frag coming up with a nice jump shot. Can he pick up another? He'll pick up streaks here, Quiz, if he can do so. And no, he goes down, but Killerfish yeah, was looking close. great. Yeah, he picked up two wonderful uh, kills with the grenade, followed up with a nice kill on the MSMC, was not able to earn his score streaks, but Killerfish is just on a roll as they now have a 69-point lead over complexity. And I'll tell you what, Hasro, this team has just been coming out guns blazing. First match of the day, you can tell that complexity is just a little bit off their rhythm oh. as Killerfish has just come to play. Kiwi just went on and just went huge. You got three piece in the feed. Get taken out, got taken out right there, but you know what? Killerfish are going so massive right now. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. You see that Kiwi is 27 and 21 right now with 11 defends, and we're only halfway through the game quiz. He's on pace for 50 kills at the moment, and that is massive. On the other side, you see Aches even at 24 and 24. The rest of the complexity players kind of struggling, and again, Killerfish getting control of this hard point. Wow, this, could, this would be a huge upset in map number one here, Quiz, if we saw Killerfish actually take down complexity on hijack hardpoint. Now, would you think it's an upset? I mean, Killerfish has really been kind of proving themselves. I mean, they're such a strong team. I mean, I, you know, I, it would definitely be yeah? an upset. Complexity is one of the strongest teams North America has to offer. And you know what? They're just so solid all the way around. I mean, they're definitely one of the top four teams here in North America. And in Germany, you know, the Killerfish uh, are solid and they've, they've, they've made some names for themselves. I don't know too much about their squad. But they had a good showing yesterday, Absolutely. and that's why they're here as the number two seed in this in this bracket. So as you, you see out rocks now, rocks with all of his streaks. This is very bad news for complexity. They're now down by about 117 points, and I think Killerfish is going to take this whiz if they keep rolling this way. Complexity is in a lot of trouble. I completely agree. So Rock's going to move down here. He's going to get the sentry gun set up in the engine room. It is already contested here. Trying to find out where it is. He got pushed by Crim6, who had a Remington, but he had Kiwi right there to back him up. Switches over to the, uh, I believe, what did he have? Did he have the caps? I think he had the caps yeah, there, one cap 40 there. Yeah. But uh, looks like Complexity is down there. Now we're going to have to rotate around really quick. I'm going to keep in the picture in picture. And now Kiwi going huge. Picking up a two-piece. Rock's following it up. And now, now we're going to have to see what Killerfish can do to lock this down. This could be the crucial moment in the game where they just sealed the deal here, Fwiz. Yeah, absolutely. As we're sticking on board with Kiwi here, he's got three of his buddies all locked down in the engine room. They're holding down the hard point. He's going to try to stay out by this entry point. Again, there's only two entrances to get down to the hard point here, and they've got both of them really well locked up as all three members. You just saw uh, Quickie get taken out there, but still three members for Killerfish holding this down. They're getting a lot of points here. Only, you know, 32 points away from getting a victory here as complexity being held under 100 points here with only two minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock this has been a shellacking of the complexity squad yeah now we're on board with tp complexity has to anchor the spawn and they're not doing it quiz tp is going to get ran on right here by all the players spawning at that back door and that's just bad play out of complexity it looked like they're confused right now this is not the complexity i'm used to seeing at the moment they they don't even have the anchor on that spawn it's 229 to 72 right now. This has been nothing but a, a massacre. Yes, I, I completely, I think you said it best right there. Yeah, they have been completely struggling. Complexity has not been able to do anything, even when they've tried to advance to the next hard point, solidify their position. Killerfish have engaged them so quickly, knocked them off the hard point. Now, we are seeing a, a little bit of a last minute comeback here by it's Complexity. It's not even possible but yeah. to come back at this point. We're yeah. two, we have two minutes left and Complexity is already beat. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty impossible. They would have to keep it them off yeah, for every second. Second. It's actually impossible. 120 points there would give them about, you know. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. <laughs> They're not this is, this game is already over. Killerfish yep. just ran all over complexity. It's bad. It was bad. It was bad. Run. Yeah. This, I is, mean, this is ridiculous. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. There's nothing else to do except admire the scores from Killerfish right now. 15 defends, 43, 43 kills. kills. He might we're going to go, go on board with Kiwi just to see if he can drop the 50 bomb at this point. Now you see some score streaks coming out of Crim6. He's heating up. Something to mention, this is the first match of the day. Yeah. You know, uh, so all these teams are playing this, this, this is the first game of the day. Might have a little jitter, you know, some jitters. You're not really warmed up. You know, the players have warming up, warm up stations here. But, you know, they're getting here early in the morning and not, you know, getting to sit down there and actually go through. But they're all in that situation. Procedure. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's absolutely. like, you know, like it's not like uh, complexity. You know, both of these teams came in cold here. It's just Killerfish clearly proving that they're the better team when they're playing cold. Let's see if they can 
keep that throughout. Again, a little room for error when you're playing a best of five, no longer a best of three. We'll see if complexity can bounce back. What I really want to see is how Aches handles himself and the team because he can be a little hot-headed, and I want to see if these guys start going at one another and lose a little bit of that camaraderie between the team. I think that's going to be the most crucial point if complexity is going to try to pick things back up. Again, you know, we're going to be going into a search and destroy next game here on Raid, so it's going to slow down a little bit, but Killer Fish pumped up, man, no doubt about it. Yeah, complexity has got to hate that, but you know what? These are best of five matches, Quiz, so you have to win three maps to win the match, and this is just map number one. Killer Fish taking that very convincingly, and there's your final score on the scoreboard, 250 to 124. You see Kiwi dropping 45 <laughs> kills. He was playing so aggressive. He also had 42 Two deaths. Two deaths, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah aggressive. But, uh, he was very aggressive that yeah. game, and I think that's what may have paid off. They always had Kiwi in their face there. The I, yeah, it threw off complexity a big, big time.